ca traffic cameras that could catch you if you speed or drive reckless. That's just one proposal to put the brakes on dangerous driving in Milwaukee. Tonight, citizens address concerns at a town hall meeting. Kareen Zell was there. Kareen. Carol, Milwaukee could get up to 35 cameras at dangerous intersections. They would take pictures of the back license plates to avoid violating privacy. Tonight, while community members talk about reckless driving, a high-speed chase ensues on Milwaukee's far north side. The dangerous driving, there's too many accidents, the speeding, the disregard for stop signs and stop lights. This morning, another deadly accident. This one on Blue Mound Road when a driver hit a pedestrian. Milwaukee police say that means 56 people have died in traffic crashes this year in Milwaukee. We want to make sure we're catching those who are deliberately breaking the law. State Representative David Crawley authored a bill to allow red light cameras and speed cameras. Right now we're looking to lift a ban uh, here in the state of Wisconsin to allow traffic enforcement cameras. Cameras would be designed to catch drivers running red lights and those going 20 miles or more over the speed limit. Ernestine Ruffin does a lot of walking and says the cameras are a start. We need something. We, we definitely do. We definitely because I'm afraid to go across a couple of drives. Others skeptical cameras won't deter reckless drivers. No, I don't think it'll be that effective. I think uh, if you give it, first of all, you're going to catch a guy on a camera that doesn't have a light, front license plate. And then if they do, you know, are they going to pay the ticket? Probably not. The cost would be up to the city, but Crawley says there are many ways to pay for cameras. This infrastructure can be paid for by a private company, and all of the revenue generated from the cameras will pay that company before going back into the city of Milwaukee coffers. Most people at tonight's meeting did seem open to the idea of cameras. The bill hasn't been proposed yet. The representative is still looking for more co-sponsorship. Reporting live along Capitol Drive, Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. We need something. Thank you very much, Corrine.